What started as a normal ride on a city bus quickly turned into a parent's worst nightmare. Thank you for joining us. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kat Villianzoni. Police say a mother had her two-year-old child snatched away in an attempted kidnapping. Channel 3's Cam Smith joins us live in the studio tonight. Cam, you spoke with the victim today. What did she tell you? Yeah, Kat and Darren, 40-year-old Jennifer Poyer of Shelburne relies on Green Mountain Transit buses to get her son to and from daycare in Burlington. But during her trip on Tuesday, things took a turn. So I'm just like replaying this over and over again in my mind, like all night long, like while I'm sleeping, like it's been like that woman picking my kid up. Jennifer Poyer is describing the frightening encounter on a Green Mountain Transit bus Tuesday afternoon. Poyer uses public transportation to get to and from her home in Shelburne. Every day, Poyer rides to downtown Burlington to pick up her son at daycare. The two were riding home when a woman they don't know tried to grab her two-year-old and get off the bus. She just sits up, scoops him up, and tries to... She didn't even run just tries to walk off with my kid. Police say before they arrived, the bus stopped here on South Union Street and Adams Street. They say bystanders on the bus were able to take the child away from the woman and keep her on the bus. She exhibited signs that were indicative of some mental health challenges uh, around a belief that this child was hers, uh, a sense that she hadn't done anything wrong. Police identified the woman as 26-year-old Moyam Willoman. Acting Chief John Murad tells Channel 3 police are not familiar with her, but are in the process of charging her with kidnapping. I don't believe that she has been released. I think the woman has been uh, held uh, on an involuntary hold with regard to mental health issues. Poyer says public transportation in the city has changed, citing physical fights and drug use on the buses. And she's hopeful for a change. Well, now I'm terrified to ride the bus. I have to, but I'm hoping that the woman gets help she needs and that she's not able to come out and try to kidnap someone else's kid. Well, Chief Murad did credit the bus driver for acting quickly and calling for 911. I did reach out to Green Mountain Transit for an interview today, but it did not hear back. Poye says she's grateful for the bystanders who intervened and is glad that nobody was hurt. Live in the studio, Cam Smith, Channel 3 News.